Hello, hello. Okay. Hi. Uh, this is me, Juanito. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my. Um, I'm pointing at it. It is my ISD1760 sample player. I will play the sample that's on it, but first I have to set my synth up. The sample player has a, why is that echo? All right. The sample player uses a chip called the ISD1760. The more famous ISD sample player chip is the 1820, 1820. The 1820 uh, only uh, has to hold one sample on it, and you trigger it and it plays. And the ISD 1820 typically can't re-trigger. Yeah, I figured out a way to make it re-trigger, but typically it can't. Um, the ISD 1820 can be run with an Arduino to re-trigger. Re it can play an arbitrary sample anywhere in the middle. Um, the problem with my uh, this doesn't trigger the first time very well. There it goes. Right now, it's just set to run on the trigger. Okay, first I'll show you the loop. Right now it's just doing a loop. I have four different uh, drum loops on here. I have the Amen break right at the beginning and like three other random ones I downloaded from the internet. Okay, in the loop mode, you can it basically plays from the beginning of the sample to the end of the sample that you select. The start button right there uh, selects where the sample starts playing from. I'm getting noise when I turn it all the way down. Uh, that's frustrating. Maybe I need stronger grounding. Um, the end basically selects how long the sample is that'll play. The beginning of the sample is because I pushed record on this and then pushed play on the device that was playing the sound. When you turn the end down, it skips the sample right to the beginning. It starts it again. Like you can stutter it like that. You can turn it all the way down and it will loop just like one tiny segment. So you can even kind of do a pseudo backwards. the trigger, then every time it triggers it'll play, theoretically. I probably need to rewrite the code a little bit so that it actually plays every single time it triggers. Okay, 
that is the Amen break. So I'll switch, I'll change my tempo. Getting the tempo of the drum loop to match with the tempo of my synthesizer is something that I need practice working on, but I think I got it at this point. Now I can play my other drums to match it. demonstrates the new module. Um, like I said in the video, I need to rewrite the code so that it actually triggers for the first trigger. I don't know how I messed that up, but I didn't really test it that much with my synth at all. So thanks for watching.